We're under attack. A wonderful what it seeks vengeance. But we'll see. The Death Knight probably did something wrong. If your name is Duke Wintermall, you're not without blame. That's for sure. So how much damage can the Blade Master do early? Scout Peon is still there, aiming for a last hit, but that should be impossible. And it is Blade Master's gathering experience here. And the first circlet and the first ring. Plus attack. Looking good for Hitman so far. Barely any damage. Baiting attacks, slowing the DK down. Love it. It's so simple. And that I hope that I hope that makes a relaxing day after a tough work day for you guys. Stretched out on the on the couch, feet up. And enjoy some Warcraft with me here tonight. Exactly. Very exciting matchup always, especially in the early game. And the, uh, the late game. The early game can be a bit dull. As nobody really wants to commit, but nobody really wants to let the other do whatever they want. Because DK Ghouls can power cube quite a bit in comparison to Blade Master Grunt. So how many... Oh, this is going to be tricky to catch the last hits here. Looks like a kill would be level 2. Blade gets almost surrounded, but he's so tanky that it doesn't matter. More important, the ends there on the grunt. Look at E. If Sheik is willing to invest two coils, he's dead. And there's level 2 right there. Okay, so a little bit more speed here. Normal damage type. Pretty good against heroes. Lucky break for Hitman, actually, that this grunt's not going down. Oh, didn't get it, did he? Wanted to go for the attack, but he's still in Windwalk. So we're waiting for the Shadowhunter second. Oh, five euros alone in heaven. Definitely aggressively over tipping. Let's be honest, guys. Can you over tip me? I don't think so, but alone in heaven. Stepped up when we needed more moderators and he's doing such a phenomenal job. So uh, I gotta thank you twice now. God damn. Coil lasted, well played. Appreciate that a lot, mate. Oh, Blade almost surrounded again. He didn't have mana for the wind walk. Again catching a lucky break. She could have executed one grunt and maybe even the blade, but in return, the ghoul falls. You handsome Neo, now you have to thank me three times. <laughs> no. did you eat? I had veggie, ham and egg sandwiches across the entire day. It was delish. Thank you for caring. We're under attack. So this is the calm before the tier 3 storm. Hitman creeping up the Shadowhunter for heal wave. Sheik ready for or with level 3. Doesn't want to soak up more XP, as this is uh, supposed to be reserved for the Lich. We're under attack. Ready to rise. 
Are we ready to ride though? Not the biggest damage output yet. Needs to work on the Blade Master. That is for sure. Only tanky items. The TC will be incredibly thankful for that. Tier 3 is right around the corner. A little faster than it is for Sheik. And once again, we're fighting over the Murlocs. Tricky situation as a Wand of Illusion is in play. But that doesn't deter Hitman from getting the entire camp. TC certainly a bit delayed. There we go. Reinforced defense is more important. More control with raiders more important. And now we can lock him. Hex double end snare. Very powerful. Just like an undead creep jack. Always very powerful. If the Sheik decide to go in. I think he's too late. Nice little creep pull by Hitman. Look at the distance. He pulled that null across the entire screen. My screen at least. And that's the ring of the Archmage. A little bit of damage output, eh? Uh-oh. And now Sheik is getting caught. Feels like Sheik hasn't had the biggest impact yet in this game. And you don't want to get caught when you can't dash out Coil Nova on Raiders. immediately caught him well done so now it's time to creep we got hitman number one fanboy lucker in the chat saying two raiders before kodo this is why he wants to stop the undead harass and that seems good i don't think hitman's family knows hitman as good as lucker knows hitman he probably knows what hitman had for breakfast the entire like the past four weeks. Storm first. Oh, DK dangerously far forward. But maybe the damage output just isn't there yet. Nova anticipated, healed immediately. But the ghoul connection with Frenzy is pretty damn good. Unlike Alin, for example, there's no towers here. Shadowhunter is saved by only the Cloak of Shadows. And now the Ark of Reincarnation. He needs that reincarnation. But now, with the burrow here, you seem to have good static defense. TC is silenced. Very conservative with his stomp so far. But the DK is just begging for it. He's just begging for it. If there's one more hex, no, there wasn't. So that gives Sheik the chance for the potion. TC now. Potion to the rescue. Also the ring plus three. Never to be underestimated. And Sheik... Is grinding his teeth against this orc base. There's not much left though. Just the stumps. And that was a weird tier 3 timing by Sheik. Definitely faster than anticipated. Maybe you realized, oh, your heroes aren't well leveled. So let me push as fast as possible because destroyer form wasn't there. And imagine destroyer form in that last fight. Maybe he just simply forgot about it. But I don't know. Next fight. Pretty much only the heroes available here for Sheik. And that's an easy cleanup then. If the Blade Master has an orb. He can go for the statues or any target you want, really. Always good mana rack on the Shadow Hunter for the necessary healing. Maybe even the necessary execution with Focus Fire. And even Wyvern coming in. Look at this, because there's no Fiend, there's no Web, there's nothing. There's almost no mana anymore. My god, this Blade Master is now packing quite a punch. 189, GG, Hitman. Clean as a whistle. Takes the 1 0. Little lucky in the early game, though. This wasn't a guaranteed Hitman win. As I said, the Grunt and the Blade Master were both in danger.
but she couldn't close it out. An orc late game. Oftentimes, very strong. Very, very strong. Hitman. A solid gamer. I can say that. Yeah, wasn't that the easy game, huh, Shake? Not the four minute win like you had against Lucy. Whole different beast. Hitman definitely the favorite in probably this entire first division. So let's see if he can just close it out. If he can just make this a 2 0. If he can make my evening a little shorter. Here we go. Ah, deep breather now, Sheik. Tight Hunter is one of the maps where we sometimes see a Farseer, so we'll see if Hitman opts for, an, for a strategic change. Or if it's more of the same, you know? I don't mind. I like a mix of styles, but I also like to see a lot of Blade Master. Also, Sheik, what's your play? Do you stick with the DK Ghouls and just Tweak your timings a little and tweak your execution a little. Or is it time for something extraordinary as we have tight hunters, easy expansion maybe? But then if you're up against the fast here, do you really want that? It's a little bit of a gamble in the early game. Blade it is. And DK it is. Okay. Stick to your guns. Good band. Good strat. Work is never complete, I tell you that much. Okay, so Sheik feels the need to scout if it's Farseer or not. Got it confirmed now. Shop, no war mill. Definitely Blade Master. Everything else would be crazy town. It kind of sounded like my life for a horse, but uh, yeah, why not, man? More power to you. I smell first blood, guys. You smell it too? Ah, fresh. So, Shake, what are you doing? Town portal sold, trying to evasion creep a little. Not at the turtle, not at the sea giant, but going to expansion immediately. Oh no, oh no, the base isn't walled off. Yeah, that's an easy invite. Oh, that is such a delayed tech. That is a slap in the face. You can all, like, let's be honest, you can almost GG here. If the grunt is saved, then it is. Wait, is that a safe spot? Can you not attack here? Ha ha ha! Oh, nice. Okay, Shake's still alive, but it's almost an entire attack. Oof. There's still a chance for snaps around. <sighs> would be such a big win. Not saying that it would bring him back into the game or anything, but just mentally a little support. Blade Master just creeps his entire thing solo. He does not care one bit. He got the selves with him. Once the job is done, gets a little massage and all is good. Incinerator! Thank you for the 53 month reset. Let's go! H-Man!
<laughs> I hope he stays away from age, otherwise, who the... We don't go anywhere. How do you play around this tech difference? Anyone, any idea? Late Master is taking a lot of camps away. First the Sea Giant, then the uh, middle spot here. Oh, is there steel? No, not possible. Hey, crit. Careful. But also Shake taking the 12 o'clock. That was good. And a more aggressive grunt play. They're not at home to welcome the Shadow Hunter. Maybe just a hero focus. Careful. <gasps> Coil steal. Now the reveal. He can just chase him. Is he dead? Oh, I can hex though. Nicely playing around him. Hitman committing. Needs a crit. Needs a crit. Needs a crit. Gets the crit. Are you kidding me? What a perfect game so far by Hitman. Just when you need it, you get the big red numbers. Oh, love it. Yo, that's... Uh... I don't know, dude. I hope Shake has some similarities with Tom Cruise because this is Mission Impossible. Level 2 right away. Yeah, that's what you get when you kill a level 3 hero. Oi, 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 Shake is getting quite demolished, everybody. Look at the tech. Look at the heroes. Neil with the dad jokes. Come on, we're all 35 plus. I'm allowed to do that. That's my audience. Dads are my audience. And that is very true. Yeah, plus one if you're a dad or a mom. Our hood. Thank you for the 26 month reset. Much love. Not wrong. Plus one. Plus one. See? Plus one. There we go. Dude, Hitman is so far ahead, it's ridiculous. Plus one, plus one. Sometimes I feel I'm the only single in this community. Boop. Nice deal. God, Hitman enjoys this so much. I can tell you, Shake's not. Gotta be a little careful of the Nova. Got Windwalk also lasts forever. The turtle has spikes, so if the ghouls attack, they hurt themselves. Oh, lovely reveal though. Is the blade dead? Some revenge. He's not giving him anything. At least Shake gets the turtle. So yeah, good effing luck.
We're playing dual hero now for faster lich creeping. We go frenzy and destroy us together. So at least we have that. But we have an axe. Sheik needs a kill needs a hero kill. It's the only way to come back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He's revealed, right? There's a shade, he's revealed. God damn. I was worried for Shake. You're such a fine guy, you deserve a lovely woman. Oh, maybe it's just my internet persona. What if I'm a horrible human being in real life? You never know. <laughs> yeah, she can't really go for the aggressive. Hitman, if he wanted to, can go for a tiny. Everything's hurt. There is a glimpse of an opportunity. Is it Shake or Sheik? People were confused. I was told it's Shake. So I use Shake. But you know. I tried to educate. Oh! I tried to educate Remo and Carson. No chance. So, sorry. Anyway, Stomp is good, Scroll of the Beast is fine, Blade Master is super hurt and dead! Look at this, Shake fighting! He's trying the best he possibly can. Without the Blade Master, statues remain untouched, just like me, lol. And with that, Hitman has to retreat. Yeah, feels like this shade for Shake. Shake, <laughs> Jesus Christ, um, was a thing that Hitman didn't really calculate in. And that's a code gone as well. Boom, baby, we're talking. We're under attack. I'd say that Hitman is still, oh my God, oh my God, that lich. He almost prevented the coil, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. The orc tri hero combo is so ungodly strong. Dark Ranger will feel it too. There's no way out. Zeppelin save this time. Oh, he's even cheeky enough to come back. A yoink! Ha <laughs> ha! And that's game. Yeah, of course, that's getting frustrating, man. Hit man! What a performance, man. 2-0 over Shake.